Um, tonight, welcome everybody. Um, I want to make sure you guys know that I'm going to do this every Monday night at the same time, same place. Um, and it's going to be like that. I'm not sure about uh, probably the week before Christmas, still the week after Christmas or New Year's. I'm going to close uh, uh, not having a meeting, but I will post it. So just keep um, a look at that post that I always make. I'm going to respond to that and put in the date. Um, so I will not have a meeting over that time unless some of you guys say, well, we want to meet and that we can do that. But um, it will be the week before Christmas till the week after uh, New Year's. And then after that, we'll have it every Monday night. Um, so uh, just keep it in mind. My whole idea with this is to always keep it consistent so that we know it's every Monday night. You don't have to go and check and um, make sure we have a meeting. Just know we're going to have a meeting. And uh, I will get different people to talk to us on, on Monday nights. It will not be every Monday night, but um, like two weeks ago when we had um, uh, uh, um, uh, Dave here. So I'm going to plan those things. So um, tonight we're going to have Ishmael that's going to do us uh, um, some critique of websites. And how I would like to do is I want you guys to have put input too. So he's going to do his thing. And then let's all work together and uh, roast even further the website, what you see, what you don't like, what you like. Um, and um, I'm sure everybody will find something that they need to go fix on their website. Um, I don't want as long yeah. to move on. I do have one request. Sure. I do have one request. Um, Ismail, will you not talk as fast? Please. Did you hear that, Ishma? All okay. right, he's got it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so um, I'm going to pass the, 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 the screen over to Ishmael, and he's going to share with you the screen. Can you share the screen, uh, Ishmael? Yeah. Looks like he's going to come into my house and rob me. <clears throat> do I have to be nice? I can talk slower, but do I have to be nice? No. No, I, I think you need to be honest, that's all. Ian, what's your website? Bounce America LLC dot com. It looks like he's been there. <laughs> so a couple of days ago, I don't know if it was you, but did you have the problem with ERS spoofing your email and you couldn't get emails? Yeah. Okay. So number one thing right off the bat. And you told me I don't have to be nice because I've already done your website. And like I said, um, I was formally requested to redo it because I was, I was uh, too mean. And you said be as brutally as honest as I can be, right? Yeah, man. That's what you said, right? All right. Yeah. So the first thing that annoys me, and it annoys me a lot. Hold on. I got to get to it. I got to get to it. Um is that your email reeks of amateur. You don't go to coke.com and, and look at their email. It doesn't say coke distributor at gmail.com, coke company. It doesn't say Tesla at Yahoo. It says info at teslamotors.com. It says info at coke, info at this, info at that. Um, where the hell is the email? Hold on one sec. Uh, go daddy email. So this thing costs you $2 a month. It's one of the things that pisses me off because it says, dude, I either, because you, if you don't know, that's fine. But this, this right here is $2 a month. Why does your say, why does your say something at Gmail, bro? Do you want to be taken seriously? Let's, let's make it, let's make it something professional. First thing right about is that I hate your email and you've already ran into trouble. 
It's got to be a professional email if you're to be treated like a professional. Yes, no, can I ask you? yes, please, of course. Oh, do you guys yeah. know who Corey is? Corey, do people know you? No. One hey, of my the life. hardest guys. I'm just, I, I got to brag about you, man. And, and the other guy is Alejandro. So on a technical level, you guys are nerds. A freaking nerds. So please, everything, go. And my only suggestion is to check out G Suit as well. It's Google's. Um, so, so it's still Gmail based, but it still gives you that info at whatever.com. But I, I do agree with you on the point of having a professional look at email. Yeah, you're right. I apologize. It, it's not just GoDaddy. You may not even use GoDaddy. M majority of people do, but anywhere. First thing is professional email. Second is this guy right here. White tats on a white background. You are not as old as the, the host here, but some people's eyesight is bad. Or you can, you can go online and type in, what are the worst color combinations to do on websites? White on baby blue. White on a white background. You can't see this. It's hard to read. Here, look. We're going to go smaller screen. This, this setting things in my way. There it is. So have you seen your website on a cell phone? Have you looked at your website? Yes. Okay. What does it look like to you? Smaller. Smaller. This is called the H1 header. It's a big old block, the big old font, big old text. Dude, can't do this. Can't do this. Um, I don't know if this is an ERS background or not, but not, you got to change it, man. You can't have that. Okay. This right here is something that I love and my buddy over in, um, in New Mexico talks about a lot, uh, Rob from ERS. He says, everyone's got to have a service area. Everyone's got to have a delivery coverage area. The reason is because all this information right here, when people type it in on Google, these become keywords. So when they type in uh, Palm Coast uh, Bounce House, here, ready? I'm gonna show you something, okay? See your Palm Coast Bounce House? You can go on incognito and use these keyword combinations and that this is the data that you're feeding Google to give to your customers. So when they type in Daytona Beach jumpers, look, there it is. You don't have to have a specific order, but you have to have it on here. This right here is your content and you've got it. So good job there. Now, do you know what landing pages are? No, not really. Okay, I'll tell you right now. Um, they don't just have to be city-based. They could be anything. They're just pages that are designed to drive people into your site. Imagine almost like a um, JC Penney's at a mall. You know how they have multiple entrances to get to the mall? Well, the more entrances you have to your site, it means you have that many more uh, flow of people coming in. So the easy landing page that people do is they would call they will make a page called Daytona Beach, right? So it's almost like a mini store, like a mini page, mini website, one page that brings people in here. Does that make sense? So you'd, you'd make a new page called Daytona Beach and then you'd make it look like a website. It's just a, another entrance for your customers, to potential customers to get here. So years ago, 10 years ago, people would do this. They would, they would buy a domain. They would call, they would buy Daytona Beach Jump Houses.com, Daytona Beach Bouncers.com, Daytona Beach Bounce Around.com. They just have so many different ways. Now you can do it here. You don't need multiple websites, multiple domains. You just need landing pages. So you would make one landing page called Fundraisers or what, uh, Parks. Um, I don't know. Corey, what do you got? What are the landing pages? Corporate events. So then you could have a page design for corporate events that doesn't look cartoonish. Because at the end of the day, our backyard customer is our bread and butter. Everybody's always running for the corporate customer. Everybody wants that fruit at the very top, but these, this hanging fruit right here, that's the money maker for everybody. So don't get away from your cartoonish. Cartoonish is good, because your customers are six-year-olds, right? That's who it is. So make a separate site or make your length, no? Or depend, well, you know what? This guy is, or this guy is. So Corey, does other things. He has different customers. I have different websites too. Some, some are affordable, some are LASIK. This right here, though, whoever your customers, that's what you have to cater to. 
If you don't have corporate customers, don't do corporate, don't, don't do corporate landing site. But that's what landing pages are. They're simple one-page sites that just bring people in. Does that make sense? Yeah, so, yeah. So this right here, good. Now make them and link them. Google doesn't like blind landing pages where you, where you randomly just trying to play with the system and mess with them. No, they want you to link it right here. All right. Um, this is a personal one. I think it's it's BS because anyone can fake this. If you can, at least me, 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 on my sites, if, if I'm going to do reviews, I'm going to embed them from either Google, which you can fake, or Yelp, or or any place. This is, I don't, I don't care for it. Rob loves him. I'm just quoting, Rob's the guy from ERS. So, because anyone can write this up. I can say, I'm Corey. You, I had the best DM party. I don't know. I don't care. But if you have real ones, I like to embed them. Okay. Um, your logo, I don't know how much you paid for your logo. There's a website called 99designs. Uh, there's a website called fiverr.com with F I. V-E-R-R.com. We can pay people to make you a logo. Um, do you have this on a t-shirt somewhere? No, not yet. Okay. Um, this little line right here doesn't always transfer real good. It depends on what medium, whether you're doing uh, uh, this medium or look at Corey's shirt. I'm pretty sure it's a screen printing. Right, Corey? See, these little, little, like this fade, you, you can't you can't put that you can't put that on a hat so we've got to keep our logos um i always tell people go vector base first because it's that you can take to any printer you can print on a business card t-shirt beanie anywhere so um so I, I work on that logo too let's go page by page let's click on contact us okay um i'd like you to have some hours you don't have to post a physical address, but some people would, people would like to know where you're at. Um, Rob just mentioned this at some round table, maybe two weeks ago. He said, people should know where they're shot, where they're at. Up here, get ready to bounce America in blah, 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 blah. Big letters. Um, the other four sites I did this week all had that. They said, welcome to whoever, whoever in whoever, whoever, Florida. Um, their contact pages and most people's contact pages have a name, an email address, a business hours in this page. Mm, if you don't have enough, fake it. Get some more in here. Um, someone just said, put them on your, just scatter these throughout your pages. And it's something I've also done for 10 years. Just scatter them throughout. I scatter, I scatter my Yelp reviews across my landing pages for, for, from a customer from that city. So when they're in Redwood City, I'll have two or three reviews from customers in Redwood City. It gives people a little bit more confidence knowing that their people and their, 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 their fellow, uh, their neighbors are actually booking with you. We think we're awesome, but don't take our word for it. Okay. Let's go to, let's check everything out. This one people get lazy with because I, I know when it's ERS uh, questions. Let's see, let's see. Did you fill this out? Right, you filled it out. Basic, I don't see anything wrong with that. All right. Let's go to. At the end, we're going to order, we're going to go order by day. Because I want to see exactly what the customers see. Ian, I hate these photos, bro. I hate these. You like the ones with the white backgrounds, don't you? I like ones that that don't have shadows all over them. I like photos. I like them where I can click on more info and I can see other photos and videos. Here, watch this. This guy, I got, I, I was on his ass so bad, he almost cried. He made me redo my video a bunch of times. Okay, same thing. Okay. Look at all those photos. Look, look at this tree. Come on. You, you're telling me in your 25 years you've been doing this, you can't give me a photo without a tree over it, branches everywhere? That's a bad photo, too, because that looks too narrow for me. See that photo? See the difference between all these? That. Get it from your manufacturer. As a matter of fact, 
these two are the same manufacturer. All he has to do is say, hey, Tim, give me some photos, and you'd have a photo like this. Now, you don't have to do this, but be consistent. Don't give me some, I don't know, wait for the sun to come over a little bit and give me a better photo. Now, let's look at your content here. Okay. You have that. Oh, look, you do have better photos. Now, as a matter of fact, I like this photo way more. I don't like those shadows. Okay. Uh, Dave is big on benefit features, fun stuff, and safety stuff. Let's see what you did here. And that guy's amazing. I don't know if you know Dave Barnes. That guy's beyond smart. Ah, huge value. The bouncer's bright and big on bouncing fun. This bouncer's 13 by 13, so it's not intimidating to small looks. Okay. Um, all of the SEO guys, just so you know, I don't know, the rest of you guys know, the SEO guys don't write their own content. None of those guys do. Um, you can search for them, their names and their groups and you can see the guys that comment. Those are the content writers. This right here would cost you no more than two bucks to get professionally written up by content writers. And three of those guys are in our industry, know exactly what to write. Because this right here, Remember we talked about your content being, being fed to Google. When people type in, if they type in value and bouncer, you may one day show up, okay? That's where the H1s and the, they, they like both. Google, those uh, SEM Rush and um, SO Ability, all those websites that do research on your pages, they'll tell you, you need H1s, you need H2s, you need bold uh, text. I like this photo, I like that photo. Uh, this is the same photo. You're wasting space there. There's one more thing that people fail to. Uh, no, that's good. So sometimes people have photos that are 2,000 pixels wide, 800 pixels high, and they're horrible. They take forever to load. Who doesn't like that? They'll derank you when your website is too slow. Ian, have you heard the word SEO? Do you know what that is? Yeah, search engine optimizer. What does that mean to you? Because I think we all have different definitions. And Corey's going to butt in because he's real smart. He'll give me his definition. <laughs> uh, What's a, your definition? It's a, what uh, Google uses to search out your uh, website and rank it. Okay. So then you understand you need to work on this, right? You need to work on your content. You need to give it more, way more tests than this. Okay. All right. In Here's that area? Work. Yeah. You need to work on that okay. a lot. Uh, it's not bad though. So a lot of people don't have anything. So this is better already. Okay. Some nerds are gonna tell you that this still has a lot of value. The only value it has is in Google images uh, because when people search, Google will give you about six images and that's it. Okay. And how they give you those images are with this up here. They literally will read the file name. So this is called thumbnail underscore IMG. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove that to you, all right? Watch this. I'm going to open up a new page. I'm going to type in purple bounce house. Okay, see what happens? They give you a couple photos, but if you click on images, they're there, right? Look at this, because I typed the word purple bounce house. Now, a lot of that comes from the content, okay? Let's go, let's go to this one. And I'm gonna go right back to why this is so important right here, the name, okay? You called yourself, yours a colorful bounce house, but let's see what your file name is for it. Oh, we just did that. Yep, same thing, okay. Uh, IMG. So are these things in my way? Okay. Look, purple bounce house. That's why the titles are so important. And this is also, it's also the reason why those other websites say, you've got to use a header one, you've got to bold your text, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. Look, there goes those cities again. You, by the way, good job, because you did that. I saw that. I don't think I'm just uh, out here yelling. Look, you're, you're, you're off to a good start, because they're doing that. But look. See that? All of that, that's fed because I'm saying give me that. And these images need to have something that reflects. Years ago from the photo booth world, they used to tell me, um, and I, I thought it was BS, they would say, call your photo booth company and add a city here and add another city to another one. Do it here, bro. Do it in your titles. Do it. 
from every angle. This Quick should question. have, yes. Uh, so you, you basically you can like rename the photo on your computer and then re-upload it and that'll have yes. the different name. Yes. All right, cool. Yeah, and it's just easy. Call, call it, uh, I don't know, multicolor bar. Call it multi now, for spaces, you want to do dash. Don't do underscore. Who doesn't like underscores anymore? It's dash. It's this. Dash. That's what I would do. See? So if they were to type that in, this will show up as well. Let's keep going. Oh, this one, you're gonna run into it. It's an ERS thing and it's a problem for everybody else. They don't like apostrophes up here. It, it just, it, no, it's no good. Let's go to the slides and combos. Okay, these are, I like consistency. As if I'm if I'm shopping your site, I get that 14 feet. I don't have a height here. I don't have a height here. I don't have one here or here. Only there. Um, this photo annoys me because it's um. Oh, well, that's what it was. I was talking about this photo and uh, I got yelled at. Ah, oh, you're being too mean. Look, that's a better photo. I like what you're doing. I like. I would like a little more organization here. Good job keeping yourself clean, by the way. Um, I would do an image slideshow that would show all these photos without taking so much space. Is that an option in the ERS? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, just remind me afterwards and I'll show it to you. It's literally a slideshow and it will drag some over. Um, but the, yeah. I love that you have photos. I love you using this. It's going to help you out with ranking when you connect actual pages to them. And, and uh, Tori, I remember that you actually had trouble with this, with making, making landing pages because they weren't copying over. Am I correct? A year ago? Your mic's off. I don't think Corey. That was me. You know, I, I don't think that was me. Maybe no. I was having a problem copying them. Yes, that's what it was. Because I, I was going to tell him, make one landing page with all your good content at your store, and you were having trouble copying. What did you ever figure out around that? I, I think it was just the way I was copying it. It wouldn't copy it that way, is what it was. Something stupid. Okay, Ian, uh, don't do it through admin website, website pages. You want to do it with being responsive and copy. That, that That's where you get it done. So this way, you work you work one landing page when you think it's incredible and and one thing i do on mine i'll name city parks so when a customer's typing in this park bounce house you see those keywords google says here's your page without them typing in my city is redwood city so i'll, I'll type in red morton park on my landing page for redwood city and i will type the word bounce house and jump house and i will figure out how to Work that out so it doesn't look repetitive, but all that is what makes your landing page. And then they'll come, you know, more traffic, more, more potential for conversions. Um, I'm okay with actual photos. I just like them to see like this 14 footer on the left side. I like all the photos to look like that, but give me a little bigger action. This right here is bigger action. Whereas that one's cut off and we don't have enough time to discuss tarping and no tarping. Tarping sucks, by the way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, tables, chairs, and add-ons. Okay, I like that. Now, let's see. It's the exact same photo, bro. I don't know what you're doing there. Do your guests need a place? Uh... <laughs> Oh, look, you have a capital H right there. Thanks. So here's one thing I do that, I don't know, I don't know if it's a good, if it's, a, if it's good from a technical point of view, but you see how you have folding chairs? Just link it. Maybe they want to see it. So after I add to cart, my suggested add-on is chairs, kit chairs, kit tables. But 
Link it right now, right there. Maybe I'm too lazy. Give it to me right now. So when I go to that chair, I'd like the same thing. You misspelled Bounce America. Damn it. What you should is, and you also need tables. Click here to add tables or see tables. Now, we're going to go through the checkout process. I, I need all these to be add-ons, by the way. That's crazy. Gift cards. Do you have this set up correctly, by the way? Did you go, did you go through Leslie for this? I asked the uh, IT to help me with it. Perfect. This is a little complicated, so. Okay. All right. So now I'm your customer. We bitched enough already. So let's now let's go through the ordering process. Um, when did you start? Ian, when did you start? On the site? No, on your business. Oh, probably February, March with uh, oh. the uh, 13 by 13. Okay, so you started 10 months ago, right? Yeah. Okay. This one is uh, strictly opinion, but I've been doing this long enough now where I, I know what those dollars mean for me. So every company's different, every market's different, but I believe that you would have been up 50 to 75 bucks easily on your ticket just if you, just by adding add-ons. Because I saw the word add-on and I thought it, it meant something else. You don't have add-ons, bro. Add-ons to me are the, the, the popcorns, the cotton candy, the snow cones. And that's it. You don't need 20 other machines. You, you could buy again, but you could buy this stuff on Amazon having two days. Um, add-ons for me are giant Jenga corn holes, um, giant connect fours. Those, because all of those are 60 to 70 to 90 bucks. And you don't have any of that. And I think that's hurting your pocket. All right, so let's get started. Let's go through the sales process. Only 20 more for overnight. Cool. Next day rent only 50 more. Cool. Which additional they stiff? All right. Okay, so I'm going to look at 15. Whoa. Shit. Are you guys really delivering at 630? No. Okay. <laughs> so what's that? So 630 and I'm going to pick up at 5 p.m. Okay. So I'm going to order a bounce house. Now, after I order a bounce house, um, I need tables and chairs. Remember, I'm your customer. Good job. Who did this with you? Who did the add-ons? Ian, you there? Yeah, I've been uh, emailing back and forth with uh, tech support. Okay. Well, they're not salespeople, but whether it was your idea or not, I don't care whose idea. This is great. This is exactly what I get on everybody's ass about. You've got to have add-ons. Now, as your new friend, You've got to add a pot of popcorn, snow cone, kind of all that junk. Um, you got to go gold metal. You're brand new. If you buy cheap stuff, it's not going to last. That's reality. Cheap stuff. If you go get a cotton kind of candy for 150 bucks on Amazon, it's a $150 pot of crap. It may last you six months, a year. It could go out after two rentals. So don't get them. But you need more add-ons, bro. You need them. So let's go to our tables. Um, okay, now see, here is a technical problem that you need to fix. Uh, here, write this down real quickly. Can you get yeah, the, um, Okay. You don't have a suggested add-on list after your tables. That's why you're not selling me chairs right now. See that? You sold me a table, gotcha. but you should be selling me chairs. Let's go back. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if chairs does that. Okay. Do you only have one table? Yeah, right now. <laughs> I just bought it. Okay. Um, I don't know how your funds are, but I'd ma I'd make quantity of ten because they do make good money, and they honestly they're only forty bucks anyways. I would just change yeah. quantity to ten, and the minute somebody books three, well, you you know if they rent four, that's forty bucks. You paid one off. Yeah, I'd get a little bit more. Cool. Okay, chairs. The chairs did the same thing. Chairs didn't sell me another table. Okay, so you need to work on that. Let's go to chairs. Okay. 
Uh, so I'm going to hit check out. Now, this is where, and I'll quote him because he said it a hundred times. Dave Barnes says that ERS lets people screw up way too much because there's too many distractions and there's too many uh, things in my way, too many obstacles. Uh, and I'm, I'm quoting because that's exactly what he says all the time. Keep it simple. So I don't want to see a hundred reminders. And look, you do, you have a bunch of reminders. And uh, Dustin from Busy Bee in Atlanta, Michael Walsh will say the same thing. Stop giving them all this crap. Say, here's my money. Take their money. Okay. Let's see. Because um, people don't want to read all this stuff. So what I did was I combined all of this into a PDF. And, and I put on here, you got to read this, uh, click here, and you're agreeing that you're reading. They're not going to read it, man. They're not. They're just, they're just, they're busy doing this. That's reality. And then they're going to get pissed when they hit continue and they get an error. So I have a link to a PDF that says, here's all your rules and instructions and click or you read it. They're not. They're not, but. Just, yeah, you got to step yeah. away and I'll uh, go put the kids to bed, okay? I think we're done. This is it. Okay. You need to buy more stuff, bro. Buy more stuff and uh, change your white background and get rid of this email. <laughs> I'll get that soon. I got to sling a couple more bounce houses and I'll get it in. No, it's only two bucks. We just saw that. Your email, dude. Oh, you yeah, gotta yeah. Work on it. Hi, Ian. Any questions, let me know, okay? Hey, yeah. Thanks for – I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man. You're welcome, bro. I got a whole list of stuff ready to work on. Use the group, dude. Use the ERS group, too. There's a bunch of people that just know everything, and they're really smart, and they'll help everybody out. Got to go. Thanks. Later. Bye. There's Mel. Work on mine. Inflatedparty.com. Hey, you're coming nasty now. Yeah, please do. <laughs> so, with uh -huh. him... Yeah, Jeff, Jeff can take it. I know Jeff well. He, he can take that. <laughs> Spell it. Inflate a what? Inflate a party. Oh, that's com. smart. There you go. Uh, well, I'm, uh, Leslie's the one that's proofing my roast, and she literally had me redo his five times. I'm not kidding. I had to do Mark so many times because... Apparently, I was too much of an asshole. See, now you're messing with me. This is a beautiful site. What do you need? Well, I'm just, well, you, I just wanted to get your approval. Where's John? Is John in here? John, where are you? She thought she was not going to have any work. She had a lot of work. Okay. All right, let's take yours. It looks good here. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna pull it up on my cell phone because it's gotta look good on both places. Inflate, uh, inflate, uh, park.com. Let's see. Who, who did your site? Um, was it uh, Dave? Yeah, it looks awesome. Thanks. Yeah, it does. Looks good on phone too. All right, so then we're just gonna so we're gonna find just um technical errors. Let's find technical errors. Let's see. Let's go to bounce houses. I got the picture, some of the picture stuff grow going. By the way, on William, too. you know how you can tell it's his? Uh because of this guy right here. This is his thing. Sweet ass events. Okay. You got the pictures. Let's see. And you're branding the pictures too. Ah, you got one. We caught yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I've got I've got a few more, but yeah. Hey, I'm gonna say one thing. And I know this guy is um uh, there's about three or four people in here that are clients of his, and I have no problem with the guy on a personal level, but this shit annoys me straight up. It annoys yeah. me because you hit me with it every time. I'm no, I got it. I need to change that. It it should it should only be go go up once and then be oh, gone. Oh, you see that, right? Because I yeah. hit it. So just keep going. I almost think you guys have it in the uh, like in the wrong section on your ass. That's what it is. Yeah. I it. So you have beautiful names because you've been around long enough. All right. Let's look at your content. Let's see. Of course. Oh, you pay big money. 
He did your whole site, didn't he? No, I did all that. Right here. You copied yeah, and pasted it from somewhere. Is. Okay. You know, you know what that is? Uh oh. You copied and pasted from one place to another, and ERS doesn't like apostrophes. Okay. So that, that, uh, how come you guys don't do videos? Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that this, this winter, so I need to. This image looks very big. You see how long it's taking to, to download? Okay. Did you see that on the screen? I, I did. Okay. That, look, at, look up here. That's why my mouse is up here. I'm sure I'm clicking on something intentionally. It's 1600 by 1200 pixels. Oh. What does it need to be? I wouldn't go more than 600 by 400. Okay. Just, and I also heard you, I also uh -huh. heard you say something about the um, image slider or image of uh, uh, what you say ERS has some in, image slider or something. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? But you know what? Since you're a Dave Barnes customer anyways, I would go with his. It's about a hundred. It's only 150 bucks anyways. Okay. I like his a lot. Okay. You see this image right here? See how big that is? Yeah. That's downloading here. So on a phone where truthfully, no one really gets a hundred megabyte download. This is just too big. Okay. So, um, image. do you have Photoshop? Yeah. I don't know how to use it. My son uses it. I don't, I, I don't have the time. I don't have here, the patience right for here. that shit. Right here. Resize all the images. That's it. You you download this image, you go to this website, and it'll compress it. It'll make it fifty percent smaller. Um, you could actually, you shouldn't have it this size anyways, because that's its real size. But you could keep it close to that size, and if it's web optimized, it'll load a lot faster, and Google will love you for it. Uh, they're just called image resizers. But Photoshop, I've got uh, 20 seconds. Open it. Control Alt Shift S for a web save, and you're done. That's it. And then you re-upload it. It so, is. Um, is it truly as simple as renaming that image to make it say Safari Bounce House Raleigh or whatever, like you were talking about earlier? Uh, yeah, it really is that easy. But you might as well resize this image, anyways. Right, right, it. right. But. Okay. When you save it is when you change the name of it. Okay. Um, my buddy Gary Laurent is very, very smart. People don't realize he's smart. They, they think he's just a, a dummy, you know, with, with bad ADHD. Um, but there's one thing I disagree with him when it comes to SEO, and he says geotag everything. Dude, it's so much fucking work. That's what that's that's what I was. Uh, Jeremy was talking about that earlier during the pandemic in April. He was giving those uh, Zoom calls, and he was talking about doing that. I'm like, holy shit! That would take me three years to do all that. Yes, exactly. Oh. Oh, that's why I questioned whether it was as simple as as right click and change. So you can do that, but then to take it a step further. He's talking, yeah. you're talking about geotagging it and having it. Yeah, but that, honestly, that helps you so much when people are searching for an image. I don't know if it works for our industry. Okay. Um, I don't know. But yeah, look, watch. Hey, if, if you're going to, if you have the time to do it, Jeff, I would really recommend that you do it. If you, you have the time, more... but let it open how long it takes, though. What site you... do you use, Corey? What site? Uh, Geo image. Oh, I use a Tumblr one. Oh, yeah. You know about this one? Yeah. Yeah, that's 10 bucks. That's the one I, I have as well. Okay. Any any more Googles becoming... It, do you know your numbers in regards to, like, a mobile versus desktop, Jeff? Oh, yeah. It's mobile's high 70s, I think. And, so may, and, may, maybe seven, 70s. For sure. And, and, and I, I know back in my day when I would Google search something, I would actually type in. So say it was, uh, I lived in Sarasota and I was searching bounce houses. Back in the day, I would type in bounce house rental Sarasota. Well, anymore, I think people are actually moving away from that just because of how 
how a program with your location and knowing where you're located. So you have to tell and them. And they just go to type in, just go to type in bounce house. Yep. Gotcha. And that's just one more, one more bullet in the holster when you've got geo landing pages, uh, geo tags on the picture, on the picture, all that, all that stuff goes into play. For sure. And I mean, it, even if you're making those geo, if, if you are going to geo tag anywhere on your website, I would make sure that you at least geo tag those landing pages. Uh, explain that to me. Um, Hey, can you, can you pull up his web? Does he have a service? Yeah, service I've got, area I've got 30, 30 or 40 of those landing pages. Okay, so yeah, all of the, the reality behind it, all of those images should be geotagged in those locations. Delivery wow. information. Delivery information, Rick. There you go. Oh, there you go. Cool. Click on one. Hey, two seconds, two seconds, because Ian's gonna watch this. Hey, Ian, this is what I was talking about, okay? So Rob, the guy from ERS says, you've gotta have this, this service delivery area, but you gotta link it too. These are the landing pages that we're talking, all right, go for it, go for it, Corey. I'm gonna get it back down here. Yes, so those are the geo, so Hillsboro, is that it? Yes, Can you scroll down, Ishmael? So if you click on bounce house rentals, does that actually take you to- It does, the uh, category. Okay, so yeah, so if you go back, so the reality, all of those images should read bounce house rental, uh, Hillsboro, okay. Hillsboro, bounce house rental, okay. and that's what those images gotcha. should read, but then you should actually go in and geotag them for that city gotcha. as well. That's a good, uh, that's good info. All right. And then the reality too is, I don't know if you use Google My Business. I do. But then you should actually, so if you take photos in the field, if your location's on and you upload those to Google. Loves I got well. you. So when my guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, one big thing about Google oh, my, and, my business. Uh, Jeff, do you know how important that is now? Yeah, I'm hearing more and more about it every day. Yeah. Especially in that and like uh, Alexa, voice and voice is becoming yes, bigger and that's bigger. that's why. Because they decided that's what's feeding people the content first. Because people are doing this. Um, Home Depot, so it'll give you the local Home Depot. So the Home Depot's got, that's why those guys never miss a beat. They update their hours and everything. Yeah, you gotta update that. You have shitty photos here, by the way. See this photo, beautiful, this one's not. So let's uh, let's talk geotagging in this one. There you go. So you said, which one, geo, uh, geo image? You, this is the one Gary turned me on to, Corey. Is this the one you used to? Yep. Okay. I think it's like 10 bucks. Yeah, 10 bucks. How's doing a bit? I mean, you, uh, you can do five a day for free as well if you don't, if you want to take it slow. Yeah, otherwise it'll take you forever. Yeah, the hell with 10 bucks, just do this. See, very images. I don't like it. Oh, here, you want to change the name? Watch. Copy image. There. Um, here, here it is. Control Alt Shift S. That'll bring up this save for web. Okay. You, this image is 600. I go 600. Actually, I would do this first. I talk about the background. I don't like backgrounds. But let's nah, say I'm with you. That, that was that was that thing's new, and it's just me being lazy. All right. Now look. Our, now we're down to 80K. And originally it was much higher, but it was 140. That, that's why your other image was taken forever low. It just, it wasn't optimized. This okay. right here is safer way optimized. What, yeah. what, prog what are you in right there? Photoshop. Photoshop. Uh, okay. So control, Alt, Shift, S, that'll bring up safer web. Um, I, I keep everything, I'll go 400 there. Um, this I keep that very high. You hit save. Hill, no. Uh, purple bounce house rental Hillsboro. That's how I name him. Okay. 
Isma, what is the job again? So Santa Zoom visits from party with Sis Thirty. Um, Santa visits from. Okay. So let's get out of there. Isma, can you say again the shortcut again, please? What's that? Can you say again the shortcut? What are the shortcut? Um, Control Alt Shift S. That's safe for web on Photoshop. Okay, let's see landing pages. Corey, how do you feel about the store being here? Because I put the store in mine. And I have this is, Yes, so the reality, if that's a really high ranking keyword and you're trying to get it to rank, that really needs to mimic you landing there directly. Does that make uh, sense? No, not at all. So I, I, I would actually, underneath all of that, I would actually put your store down there as well. Okay. And then under that, I would actually put your service area as well. You know what are we talking about? Because but, you, yeah, you, he's you talking about to, this, this story. Right. Put that under every one of those landing pages. And, and the reality too anymore, I would almost put an about me section there as well. And if you want to get even more fancy, I would almost hold five of your frequently asked questions and put those on there as well. On every one of those geo landing pages? Well, damn, you just added two more years of work to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but do you remember I kept saying landing pages are like their own mini websites? That's what he yeah. just gave you. All that work is now its own little mini web mini web page, mini website. Yeah, and one of our page. In one of our conversations, I've heard that that about me is real. I think Dave Barnes has, has said that several times. That that's very everybody, including yeah, Dave Barnes said, has just said it recently. Yeah. About me is very important now. So now you have a lot more work on your landing pages. Here's another one. Look at this huge image. You saw that? It Google looks doesn't good. Like this. It looks, it looks good, good but it's not optimized. Yeah. Let's see. And I'm telling you now, Google doesn't like it at all. Nope. Nope. See, now it went faster because it's already cached on my on my computer. Let's see how big it is. Four thousand. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna put myself on the spot here, and I'm gonna try and spam it. I'm gonna say this page is no good. Google hates you, and if they haven't taken you off, they will because this is four thousand pixels by three thousand. That's what I was talking about. A lot of work. Ah, uh, what city is this? Oh, see? I mean, ra type Raleigh, R-A-L-E-I-G-H. -R what city? What that, state? That right there, yep. What state? North Carolina. See, because right now I'm not in here, so. This is what he was talking about, what he was saying. All right, uh, mechanical or rental. Where are you at? I'm not in the three, but I'm the next, I'm that one right there. No. Oh, so you're not on the map? No, I am right there. Yep. Inflated party, fourth, the. Uh, no, 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 no. Nobody goes to the fourth one like nobody's no, goes no, to the I second get that. page. Yeah, I'm not in that top top one. Okay, nobody clicks here. I'm right there. I'm right, I'm the first one right below the map. Okay. This is what I was trying to explain to Ian over here. See? There goes that keyword I was looking for in rally. Damn. <laughs> yeah, 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 I get it. Okay, I need to resize the picture. I got it. Yeah, but I mean, you're ranking, so that's good. Should be even better, yeah. Okay. That is that, that, that's that important to Google? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, wow, that's, uh, you just have slow internet. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> okay, well. Hold on, it's not done. Let's, let's give it some disrespect. Yeah, 
Don't yeah, worry. I, yeah, I get that. And we wait for that photo, but nobody's going to wait for that photo. They're going to move on. <laughs> but it looks pretty. Great. Hey, Jeff, do you have a lot of people, is that their first page that they hit to when they come to your website? The mechanical bull? Yeah. So if do you have a lot of searches for that? Is it uh, kind I, of along I, the, the same lines if a lot of people are coming and that's the first page that they're hitting? I'd almost add a little more to the bottom of that as well. Yeah, okay. That makes I, sense. I, I, I get that. that uh, I mean, it, am I wrong to say that it probably wouldn't hurt me if you put the about me and five frequently asked questions on most every page? I, I would start with your most Any pages. pages. Yes, yeah. most search pages. Okay. Uh, make sure they're not the same ones, though. They will ding you for duplicate content. So maybe change the questions up, even if you just move them up and, and rotate them top to bottom. Okay, that's good. That's good info. See, there's always something we can fix on our website. Yeah, okay. no, that's great. That, that, that's was this. great. I clicked on Dunk Tank and it took me here. Say it again. So here's a page you made. It's called Dunk Tank, okay? Right. I click it's it. Take, it's not taking you there? Oh. No, look, it's taking me to a store. It's taking you to the main page where it should go yeah. to the dunking, dunking booth landing page. Yeah. It, it, uh, if you look at the URL, it says dunk tank on there. So your page is probably wrong. It's just your link. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, okay. Where's your dunk tank? Uh, interactive, I think. Really? I would have thought with water slides. Mm, I, don't think, I don't think so. Okay. It might be in there too. That's like a baby little basketball hoop. <laughs> okay, so watch this. So what you do is you go to, you take this right here, right there. That's the URL, copy that. That's the URL that has to go on your footer on this. Whereas right now it's going to dunk tank and not the at, item. There's two of them there. I don't know why that is, huh? Oh, they're both wrong though. See? Oh, they okay. Don tank. See, train goes to items. Mechanical bill goes to item. Dunk tank eliminates the word items. Gotcha. That's what it is. You have to go to your footer and just change those. Okay. Put off the courses. Let's look around. Camel side steps. Okay. See this photo? See how mm -hmm. it takes up 60% um, of the page, 50%? But look at the size, 640 by 40. That's what you want. I don't want more than 600. 640 is fine. Dude, I want to I want a video. You don't have any videos. Yeah, I, yeah, I gotta work on that. Bounce slide try combo. That's the only one that has the word foreign one in it. And I'm glad it's the only one. The other ones don't have it. Because I don't I don't think, at least in my side of the country, moms aren't typing in the word three and one or four and one and five and one combo. And yeah. only one that, you know that, right? They're not. That's a term that we use. Dude, you need a better photo of this. That's a good looking slide. that this bounce to your course is 20 is that amped no area yeah it fits that you see that yep i do i don't like this photo you can find that one online that's ten and table right that is yeah that's a horrible photo I don't know. It looks like it's just technical. It literally, it looks like most of your work is just images and landing pages and making them into full-fledged full sites. 
How about the checkout? Go to, do, do the ready? checkout. Yeah. That's my that's my favorite part. Let's go to checkout. Hey, and like I said, I was talking about earlier, don't be afraid to in that text at the top, link those categories together as well. Okay. Order by date, let's go. Okay. So you're big enough where I know you physically own everything. So I, I need you to hit me with everything. I'm booking for my kid's birthday party on Saturday. My party is 12 to three, five, I guess. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna, I need a monster truck, that's cool. I love monster trucks. Okay, there. No snow cone? Yeah, I don't know why that's not on there yet. Okay. But you have one, right? Oh yeah, I got four or five of them. Do you have a pen handy? Can you write something down? Yep. Um, admin products, suggested add-ons. Or maybe it's called add-ons. Yeah, the snow cone was on there one time. I don't know why that's not on there. I'll, I'll go and Okay, because yeah, you're losing it on there. All right, so I'm gonna grab a table. I don't know, I'm gonna get a popcorn. So I need you to sell me more stuff and a table. You didn't sell me a table. After the after that, yeah. Yeah, because let's okay. say I don't have a table. You just lost out 10 bucks. All right, um, you know one thing I do with this guys, I, I make this a required add-on, how many kits they get. After that, I hit him with tables. Because right now I don't have a table for the popcorn. Oh, before, uh, before I, I lost track. Admin products, add-ons, you go to your list. So whatever list this is calling, and I don't want to make an, I don't want to make this an ERS video, but whatever list this monster truck is calling, that's the one you have to edit and add the snow cone. Uh, okay. What could have happened is you could have changed the quantity, you could have changed the name of it. Maybe you had it out for repair, forgot to put it back on. But that's it. Okay. All right. So this one is where where uh, Michael and Dustin will get on your ass about. It. They don't like all this shit. They're, they're saying, and they will, don't like it. He's like more than one. He says, just get their money. Deal with deal with all the uh, legal stuff afterwards. Okay. And, and I'm just quoting. That's what Dave and those guys say. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you to make it easier to check out. Yep. Yeah, just get their money, man. We both know they're not reading this crap anyways. Right. Got to capitalize that one. All right. Uh, I think all you have is a lot of work with landing pages, geotagging stuff, uh, which is going to take you three years, and image work. But I like the flow. I love the. Uh, I love how it gets you from A to B. That's great. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate the feedback. Yeah, this right here is. Oh, it's a good image. That's what it is. Can't mess with this one. They just... put that on there. You better not knock it. He put that on there. No, no, no. It's two... no. That's what those banners are. Two thousand by five hundred. Okay. Your other one was four thousand by three thousand, and this Perfect. one is optimized, by the way. Cool stuff. I like that. My car. Oh, your links are working? Oh, I love this. What the hell was that? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well that link's not working. What was that? Instagram? Yeah, it's not working. Look look down here where it says type your search. You can tell that the address is wrong. Bad watch. When I go to Instagram. It just goes to um, a pound sign. You gotta fit your Instagram link. Okay. Do you talk in these videos? Do I talk? I, we don't have many of them. I, I don't have many of them in there. Do I talk in them? Yeah. Uh, no, I think my son's done those. So Rob and Dave both have been saying this for years. Google's taking the words that are being spoken here and throwing it at the search engines. Yeah, you're not talking at all. You're not saying this is a Magic Kingdom tour out of Raleigh, North Carolina. It's amazing, big, beautiful safety and blah, 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 blah. Okay. This video didn't do anything for you. Outside of you sharing it with people, it's not being given to the people because they're, you're not speaking on it. 
And, okay. And I've been talking about that for years. He says, take advantage. It, remember, this is this is Google, and they're gonna show their products first. I don't know. I think you're good, dude. You just got a lot okay, of work your images and your uh, landing pages. Do you do you see anything else? Okay, Ismail, we have 20 minutes left. Actually, 15 minutes. Who wants to do a quick review by Ismail? Me, me, pick me. Okay, we have somebody, Ismail. Website, go. Carolina Fun Factory. Yes. Uh, Jeff's neighbor down here to the south. What is it? What's the site? Carolina Fun Factory. Oh, I've always loved your website. Oh, I can't type. Carolina. Weren't you the first website who's asked whose butt I got on? I'm sorry, say again? Weren't you the first website I picked on? Um, yeah. no, I mean, we kind of chatted a little bit. You, you told me about the calendar at the top, and then there was someone else that was doing a lot of talking, so we just kind of said goodbye. Oh, that's right. I think it was Justin, wasn't it? I wasn't going to call names. Yeah, but I don't care. Yes, you got you changed that. Okay, let's go. Let, well, since you've already worked on your site, let's order. Let's buy something right now. Oh, oh. Okay. Look, you don't have any cities here. So then I'm going to scroll down, and I need to find a service coverage area. Okay, this right here, not helping because it, it's, uh, it's just an image. So let's go down here. So let's see. This is what um to your landing page. Oh, there you go. Jeff, this is what we're talking about. See how she has a store here? Jeff gone? He matters. No, I no, I, I'm I hear you. She's got the, the store on each individual um and then page. she's got links directly to water slide rentals and look what she's doing oh you know what i know who you work with you work with gary haven't you with who with gary laurent no sir i haven't really uh-uh then you guys use the same content writer because no nope. no nope. not unless he picks my brain uh-uh he probably does <laughs> i love this i love this is one of the things he does i'm giving the guy credit he's a clown but he's very smart this is one thing he pushes so Yes, we see, I've always been very, very wordy. And, and my husband used to kind of say, there's too many words, too many words. Well, they're effective right here. They're effective because I like this right here. Uh, you know, one thing I would have done by now since you're in December, I wouldn't have water slides up here. You know what I'm saying? I'd have, if ponies are making you more money, I'd have that. If, if bonsos are making you more money, I'd have that up here instead of a water slide. Will I lose traction for water slides if I move it? No, it's on the same page. I didn't say delete it. I just move it around. All right. Cool. All right. I'm impressed. I like that already. Okay. And then look, you have that again. So you've got your coverage. Again, this one doesn't help you at all. It's just pretty, which means you could even eliminate that and just put something else here. But you have this, you have this. So you have a couple more to work on. And you have this again. I enjoy this actually. And all your, all your links are working? Yes. Yep. Because we found some on Jeff's side that weren't working. Ooh, you've been like, working a lot on this. I like this. Interactive meltdown. Um, um, the Meltdown is a very branded product. A lot of people know this. Event planners know it. I don't know who, if anybody else was suggested. I would link directly to it. Get some more juice going back and forth between them. All right. Mine right here, I'd link it directly to it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't link okay. everything, but this right here, I, I'd even take that and make that a landing page. You can, did you know that? You can make your items into landing pages. All right, hold on. I'm trying to find a piece of paper to write on. I've been shopping okay. the whole time we've been talking, and I've literally written in my hand and up my arm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to um, 
upload this video so you can just uh, listen to it next uh, later. Oh, there you go. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. With some things that have such great branding behind the marketing, link to them. Okay. Obstacles, track is train rentals. Dude, you're, you're, you're on fire. You've been doing a lot of research. I haven't seen one stupid name on here. People do that. They'll come up with some really dumb names. But at the end of the day, this is exactly what an event coordinator is doing. That's exactly what a school and a company a person who's in, in charge of events. Event games, outdoor movie screens, mobile mini golf. I'm just, I'm right, I'm just checking because you have a really sweet site. So I'm checking for things that I think people mess up on. And good job. I don't know how useful this is. Maybe make me make it smaller. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not hurting you. Because uh, Google prefers more words up here. They prefer more content than this. Okay. Uh, Ian, when, you, when you're watching this, this right here is what I would make landing pages for. I do, and I have them. Make one called Company Picnics. And then just for fun, go spend 12 bucks and buy a domain called, let's go with Rally, because I don't know where you're at. Rally company picnics are coming, just send it to that same item. Just get more, more connections between your, your, your pages here. All right, uh, I don't see a whole lot of stuff. Ooh, uh, you should have explained, nope. Uh, Google wants you to have maps. Oh, you have it on top. I love it. I love it. Um, this might be too techy, but you can actually customize these maps with graphics and put prices on them. Do you guys know that? Click one. Oh, oh good for you. Yeah. yeah, but I'm talking actually like actually little lines here and there, but yeah, perfect. You've got your minimum. You your minimum. Yeah, we can. See what you did there? That's what I'm talking about. Link stuff back and forth. Uh, you got to link these set right here too. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to buy something now. Let's go. Check availability. Uh, the time you need a longer period, please call our office. Blah, blah. If you're automating every, oh, lost it, lost it, lost it. Okay, 23rd. Oh, I like that. You've updated your profiles, huh? You can't order before 12 p.m. No, sorry. Uh, I love it. All right. Uh, Tolerant inflatable rentals. Um, I like stuff to be consistent. That's not consistent. I agree. Okay. okay, let's go with that. I like this. Do you have a section for packages? Oh, you do. I do. Dude, you put a lot of work on your page. I love this. See, the, these all match. These are all great. All right. Let's get back to this water slide. Now, if I'm branching a water slide in July, I need a table, snow cone, Syrups, maybe uh, chairs. None. What's your add-ons? Ah, uh, good question. Do they not come up after you continue? No, they don't. Nope, right here. Let's go to. Nope. Um. I hope you're making a crap load of money, but if you don't have this, you're losing out on a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Add-ons are okay with, or with pay right, a lot sorry. of bills. My add-ons. Oh, yeah. Um, admin products, add-ons, make a list. So, so you, and you can have very different lists. So when people rent a water slide from us, they're offered water tag, water tag maze, uh, snow cone first, a bunch of syrups, uh, tables, and chairs, because it's, I assume it's a party in the backyard, and right? Um, when they rent my, my 
uh, a spare's wheel, right? Then mm -hmm. you get the add-ons for the circus events, for the um, carnival events. Then they get all the concessions first. They get all the all the uh, the frame games. When they get something sparkly, I offer them sparkly games. So you can make different add-on lists. Uh, here, I don't have a Rockwell, but I'm assuming this should have a lot of other stuff to make it because this is a bigger event, right? This is. I think you forgot a one. Hmm. I think you did. You did you forget a one? No, nope, they don't bring a lot in our area. Oh, gotcha. Okay, gotta do what we gotta do. So, I think this is the one thing that needs a video. By the way, I think you be we could be making more if you uh just told me that. Okay, yeah, we have no items anywhere. Now I'm gonna add a party package. So, so we've got a uh, bounces and cotton candy. All right, two nine. And you have this set up correctly already? Yes, you do. Honey candy and a castle. Sweet. All right, so let's check out. Right here. Everybody will get on your ass. Dave will literally have a heart attack, and Michael Wazer has given people so much shit. This is way too much. You're not getting my money. Uh, okay, I'm not that could this. explain a lot. I did that one day when I was really pissed off. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Someone buy this, someone either had confetti or glitter or that silly string or mess up your machines. I get it, you're pissed. But this right here is way too much and exactly what people talk about. Dave literally would tell you, you're turning money away, you're chasing them away because it's too much crap, there's too many obstacles in their way. Get their money now and deal with that later. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, my solution was um, I do a PDF, click here to read all the stuff and they both know they're not reading it. I'm guaranteeing you I'm not reading it and I'm gonna walk away. You annoyed me. I don't like that. All right. How do you put a, a PDF in there? Click here to read all the stuff. See if Leslie and Robert are in here. <clears throat> but I've said it a hundred times. It is one of the hardest things for people to do. Um, Corey, did you think? Did you ever figure out an easy way to uh, set up a PDF? I don't know if he's here. Okay, forget PDF. It's not easy. Yeah, I just put it. I just put a hyperlink and throw it in my Google Drive. That's what I okay. did. So he just, he just made a link. Do you know how to make a link? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uploading to your sucks. It's horrible. Uh, put it wherever you want. You could even do a link to a page. See how you have here? Just make a link. Make a new page and say, this is all the stuff you have to read. And just link it like this. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, you uh, you have no add-ons, and you're chasing me away with that uh, checkout page. Other than that, dude, you you have worked your butt off on this. I love it. Book online today. Yeah, that's it. You have some work, but I'm very impressed. Well, thank you. I was thinking I was going to get dinged on my images. I know those in my store need to be changed out but you know what though? they're consistent here look at these three for example none of them are stock photos they're all actual photos you you don't have to have those white backgrounds this works but they should all be the same though this is not the same mm -hmm. and these don't match there's nothing wrong with that i like a little border put a little black border or anything on it but no no, no nothing wrong with that uh, this, I, I think, is lazy. I think you should have a different photo. I once got <laughs> dinged for it because I told I, I took a photo from online and the customer was like, that's not what you give. Pay 700 bucks and that's not what I'm getting. I think you should have a photo of three here, six here, and nine here. Just so you don't have one customer once tell you, you know, oh, they're not. Uh -huh. they're... Look at that. So you do have work to do. You thought you were going to yes. get, get away with <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Welcome. Okay, Ishmael, thank you. We got through three of them. It's uh, 8.30 here in Austin. Uh, what I usually do is after an hour and a half, we can, uh, some people can leave, the other people can stay. And uh, if you want to ask Ishmael more questions, you can. 
but now the table is open for everybody to ask questions and uh, talk to each other, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, but uh, and I will definitely upload this one um, uh, tonight or tomorrow, and um, and uh, then you can look at it again and and share it uh, with other people. All right. Next week, the same time. And Kobe, thank you so much for hosting these. You're welcome. Thank you. And uh, I love this dude. Thank you. Next week, the same time, and um, I'm gonna leave it open until whenever you finish. And um, uh, good night.